Today's video is all about making the insert for our A4 envelope pockets. This is a very quick way to create a double-sided decorative edge. Welcome to PM Artist Studio. I am Mariah, the M in the PM. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Now let's get started. Starting off, I have printed the patterns in a one and an eighth inch wide strip down the middle of an eight and a half foot by 11 sheet on one side. Then a full sheet of the pattern strips in the same width. I have done this because printing two sides is always a bit of a gamble for me, it just never really quite lines up. And a plus was adding a little bit of weight to the tabbed edge, which I thought was a real bonus in this instance, just because it, it's going to add just a, a neat feel to that edge of the little paper that is pulled out of the pocket. Now you see that I am going ahead and all the strips are cut off and just adding glue. The nice thing was is that you were able to see enough of the other side of this particular paper to be able to line it up pretty quickly. So ideally, in the end, what we're going to do here is once these are all dried and everything, because I do not recommend, I did it, I tried to couple, cut a couple before they were dry, and especially when using the decorative scissors, it's going to cause some issues. They just, it, the, it has to be fully dry because it's just too gooey, the glue, and, and it's not firm enough to truly cut that paper. And then the next step after this, once it is dry, is to cut these particular sheets in half. So just a quick rundown on that. Basically, you have the sheet here, the full size sheet. It will then be cut, it's, it was easier to cut it on the guillotine in a half, meaning the five and a half by five and a half. Then you have the eight and a half by five and a half sheet use your decorative scissors or however you want to cut it along the center of the patterned paper area which leaves you a little over a half inch because remember I said in the very beginning that it's an inch and an eighth I don't know why I chose that it just so happened but that's what it was you could do it as an inch and then just have a half inch of decorative on either side and that was basically the rundown of how to get the tabbed bit on all four sides or well all four pieces from the eight and a half by eleven because it these are quarter size that's what an a4 will accommodate so what you see me doing here now is just number one I wanted to try out my new chocola markers um, I'm a huge Posca fan, and let me tell you that these uh, performed quite well for the price and everything. I, I am very happy with them so far. And just use that along the cut por portion of the, of a couple of them, just to kind of give it a little extra oomph. And then just picking different ones to stuff in each little pocket of the three journals. And that is the rundown of how to create the four inserts from a eight and a half by 11. In the next video, we will probably be showing um, more of the ephemera that's going inside of it, little postcards, and maybe even decorating some pages. So stay tuned for that. And as always, please like this video if you haven't. Leave us a comment below, we love those. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell, we do this each week. Thank you again for watching, bye.